What's up everybody? My name is Eloko233 and on today's showcase video I will be showcasing the new update which came out I think yesterday Yeah, but I was sleeping at the time and the name is well not the name the version is 1.8.0.10 I guess or 1.8.0.10 but then it's really awesome because what I'm about to show you right now is spectacularly amazing and unexpected so let's get cracking with the video so right now inside this chest um, yeah it's filled with all the new things and changes in the 1.8.0.10 update so let's open it up and as you can see Ooh, we got the crossbow guys like seriously I did not expect to get this beta update or I don't know feature or weapon yeah this year because they said that we're gonna get the village and pillage update next year and all of a sudden they give us the crossbow this year so this gives me like a, a little hope that we might get a taste of a beta of the village and pillage update you know get a beta this this year but anyways here the new stuff uh, in this beta they said that they changed the sounds and a few things about the panda scaffolding and here are the new enchantments for the crossbow and they also changed some dye actually yeah now there's white dye instead of bone meal but yeah let, let's start uh, you know doing stuff okay guys uh, to start off with the new features we will start with the pandas and the scaffolding so not that much has changed but then uh, they said that they changed the sound of the scaffolding when climbing so basically on the previous beta when when you climb when you went up a, a scaffolding block it would make that ladder sound and now they changed it so listen carefully Okay, so as you just heard right now, uh, there's a big change on the sound, not that much. And then they said that the uh, scaffolding will now be flammable. I don't know, but then on the previous update, scaffolding wasn't flammable, so now it can actually catch on fire. So let's just see that in action. Come on! Okay guys, for some reason it's not burning because I placed it right next to the to the lava which is something that burns people. You see, I'm even burning right now. But for some reason the scaffolding isn't burning. Eh, whatever, but then anyways, maybe it's a pocket edition thing because I'm using my phone. But they've also changed pandas. They said they added extra sounds. But then uh, we won't be testing that out. And they said that you can now feed them with your hand. Earlier on, uh, on the previous update, you could only like feed them by throwing the food on the floor. But now this time you can give them the food, and they'll eat. Okay, you know that's not a good test. But this time you can. Sorry, you can. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. But then you can give them the food, and they'll eat it. Something about the damage inflicted by the angry panda has been changed. Uh, on the previous update, uh, the angry panda could only inflict like one heart damage, and which was very bad. But now, let's see what happens this time. Ooh, three. That's better actually. <laughs> and they said that, um, well, basically, you can. Stop it from picking you up just by giving you food and to like forgive you this time because you've healed it from the inflicted pain that you have given it, I guess. Oh, and they can eat cake for some reason. <laughs> but, anyways, that's all that has been changed for the pandas so far. Okay, now for the second showcase, uh, there has been a change made to the die. And now, as you can see, on the die category, ink sacks, cocoa beans, lapis, and bone meal is normal in the die section. Now, there's new dyes specifically 
the that well die that replaced the previous die stuff. Yeah. So right now, insect is an insect by its own, and lapis lazuli is an yeah. It's it's on its own basically. But then, so far I see that you can use it to make the black ink and stuff. So yeah, I don't think you can like make things colorful with it. Try something. Okay, never mind. Uh, actually, you can still die using the replaced items, but then I think that's gonna change in future updates. Uh, yeah, so not that much with the. Okay, guys, we are on the final change slash feature, I guess, um, on the 1.8.0.10 update beta, and yeah, I guess it's what you guys have been waiting for. The new awesome crossbows. <laughs> I just fainted there for a few minutes. I didn't know what I was thinking. But then, yeah, this is the new stuff the village and pillage feature. And for some reason, they gave it to us this year when they said they're gonna give it to us next year. So, yeah, but then, wait, what did I do? Okay, anyways it's a really awesome thing weapon and what they said in the village and pillage in the minecon in minecon they said that um it, it has an increased range and increased strength so it's much stronger and more rangier than the bow so when you craft this you just need some sticks a tripile hook oh yeah i guess this thing adds an additional use to this so yeah i guess this thing adds an additional use to the trip wire hook because at first the trip wire hook didn't have a use it just had was used for 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 traps that's all nothing else but then here it is uh, the psyche part about this thing is that um you can't like put the enchantments the enchantments together so like here okay so like i said um, the sucky part about the crossbow is that you can't add the enchantments, you know, onto each other. You see, it has piercing, and I'm trying to add multi-shot on top of piercing. It doesn't work. I guess, like, each enchantment goes on one crossbow. No, cross. Uh, each crossbow has one enchantment. And you can add mending and unbreaking, but not infinity, though. But I think that's gonna change, because that would be awesome and pretty OP. <laughs> so... So far, this is how they look, and multi-shot basic uh, quick charge makes you load your arrow much faster than the original, and then piercing like it's basically a power for a crossbow, and then multi-shot like shoots more than one arrow uh, in one shot, I guess. So we're gonna test this on um, a zombie. Sense it, and basically. Uh, Guys, die. Don't kill me! Just die! <laughs> so that's how it is. So I'm gonna test out quick charge, and as you can see with the original charge up, yeah, the well, the the loading is really slow. But then it's not that bad. But then look at quick charge 3 like it's fast as hell like really it's awesome actually it's really fast comes piercing which is like a power so so this is how many arrows it takes to kill a zombie with a normal come on just get me from normal thing so it takes 3 shots to kill a zombie with a normal arrow or crossbow and then with piercing it takes It takes three. Hmm. Oh, okay, guys. No, you know what? I'm using piercing wrong. For some reason, it's it's not like a power 
for 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 the crossbow it actually goes through them look so basically it is both of them at once it goes through the the entities as you can see which is really cool actually that, that's awesome yeah that's awesome because usually zombies attack players in a line sometimes and then comes multi shot which is like you can obviously tell by the name and it shoots three uh, arrows at once so as you can see wait no let me just put them out yeah you can see that well you can't tell but then it shoots three arrows at once I'm just demonstrating it at the mob. So basically, as you can see, it shot three at once. And thing before I forget, you can actually shoot fireworks like a flare. Basically, yeah, the crossbow turns makes the the, the firework of like work as a flare because what you do is that you have to like put the firework in your dual wielding hand and then. It loads it in, it loads it in, and yeah, and then you can shoot it out, you see, which is like really awesome, I don't know what you would use this for, maybe to notify your friend about your location or something, but yeah, it's kind of cool actually, I like it, yeah, it's awesome, so, so far, that's all on the village, no, not village, village, that's all on the 1.8.0.10 update, it's really awesome and I feel like before the end of this year we'll be already experiencing yeah, we'll be already experiencing the pillager update before the end of this year. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video and if you loved it please subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.